So you decided to buy Star Citizen with basic starter pack and you don't know how to make your first money? Don't worry, I got you covered. Basically all you need is 40,000 AUC to start making more. For our example, I will do this with one of the cheapest starter ships, Aurora ML. To get our money for investment, we will do simple bounty hunting missions. They are PvE and there is no PvP required. They are really easy for beginners and you should deal with them without any problems. If you already own at least 40,000 AUC, you can skip this process. Now, let's take very low threat bounty hunting missions. If you do them first time, you might need to do certificate missions first. This is simplified guide. I will make more detailed ones in the future covering more gameplay loops. Now let's take our mission and go hunt some bad guys. These enemies are not very dangerous, but sometimes they might shoot missiles at you. You should avoid them by using countermeasures, pressing H on your keyboard. Those missiles shouldn't kill you instantly, but they might take damage to your ship, so be careful. As you can see, we have two enemies to defeat, which are not really big problem for us. They die rather quickly. Once you're done, grab another mission and repeat process until you get at least 40,000 AUEC. As you can see, after few missions we should already have all money we need. I started with about 20,000 AUC. Let's pretend the other 21 million just doesn't exist. Now it's time to begin second step. All we need now is to head to any Lagrange point that have refinery deck. In our case, I'd pick Crusader L1. Let's jump over there. Now all you need to do is to follow my path until we arrive at our first shop. In this shop you can also buy all mining gadgets and other stuff for your mining ships. You can also buy more advanced armors, but for now we need to save our money. Now head to Vantage Rentals Terminal and rent Catalyst Black for one day and Greycat ROC for one day. These two will be our money printers. The investment will return with profits within one hour. Now all we need to do is to go to our Cutlass and leave the station. In next step we need to go to any moon and load our ROC. I highly recommend going to Daemo at Crusader because it's most friendly planet for beginners. And it's the one with higher most valuable gems pound rate. With ROC, we can mine Aphorite, Dolly Vine and Hadanite. Hadanite is most valuable and in my opinion the only mineral worth mining at the moment. There is also fourth mineral called Genolite, but for now we can only gather it at Daymar Caves doing hand mining. Now once we arrive at Daymar, it's time to go to Planet Facility that can spawn ROC for us. I went to Shubin Mining Facility, SCD-1. You can spawn ROC at those two little pads I was looking at. Now it's time to land your ship. 
choose flat area that will let you open your ramp close enough to get your vehicle beside Cutlass. Now, go to blue building with blue ink antenna near those paths and get your ROC. You can also loot chests here, where you can find some free additional gear like armors, multi-tools, clothes or food. Let's grab our ROC and load it into Cutlass. While parking inside your bay, try to make enough room to be able to move to ramp behind ROC, just in case. Now fly away and go to chosen orbital marker. I personally like the OM1 because from here most of locations have daylight all the time. From OM1, choose random place and with full speed start heading towards the chosen spot. Near the ground. Start pinging your scanner, using tab button. You should look for markers that are within 2.5 km from you. All markers further will be big rocks only for Prospector at Argo Mall. As you can see, moments later we have found our first cluster. Try to look at them. If the rocks are blue-ish, they are aphorite, not worth our effort. You can always mine it if you want but I'm just picky. We have found another cluster nearby. This time you can see the rocks are purple, which means we have found the right ones containing Hadanite. It's time to land your ship and start mining. Remember to choose flat area for landing, so the ramp won't be too high from the ground. Also, remember where you have seen Hadanite, because sometimes you might not see the markers inside the ROC. Now, toggle mining mode, pressing M button. Pick the first rock and start your mining laser with left mouse button. You need to adjust your laser power by clicking Alt plus mouse scroll up or down. Now you need to pay attention to the right side of your UI, which shows all important data regarding rock charge levels. You need to increase laser intensity until your charge level reach green zone. Avoid overcharging it to red zone. If you do so, the rock might explode and destroy your ROC. All you need to do now is to adjust power levels until you break the rock. Then repeat process until all rocks break and collect the gems by switching to collection mode clicking right mouse button. I personally prefer to collect them every 3 or 4 rocks. Once we collect everything, go back to your cutlass. For safety reasons, I recommend unloading gems into ship inventory. To access ROC inventory, you need to go to the rear hatch and pick open. Then move gems toward your ship inventory cover. Now, go back to pilot seat and continue looking for another deposit. Two 
two minutes later, we have found another Hadanite cluster. After breaking everything, once again unload your Hadanite. Since it's our first mining, we don't have too much money. For safety reasons, I recommend to already sell what we have gathered. You can sell gems at some planet facilities and any other station that have admin consoles. I went to Pearl L1, which has refinery platform, so I could spend earned money for some mining gear. Once you arrive, store your cutlass. You might be wondering why there is only one hour left at my rental timer. Well... Yeah, I did one run yesterday, which ended with disaster, ruining my footage. All we need to do now is to go to elevator and head to gallery, where admin stations are somewhere around. Once you find it, go to terminal. Choose Catalas Black as inventory and sell all Hadanite that will appear here. In my case, it's on station inventory because I'm dumb and forgot to record that. Remember that you can sell only 500 Hadanite each transaction, so you need to repeat process few times, but it doesn't have any delay. Within roughly one hour and few more minutes, we have made 170,000 of profits. You can stay there and mine as long as you want, or until your ROC will break. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Using this method you can earn enough money to buy Drake Vulture and make billions with it using my previous guide. Bye.